One thing that I like to do when either I have a little extra time or I just want to or need to learn how to do something is I go to the internet and I look at tutorials and uh, one thing that I like when I see a tutorial is information that I can easily understand that people kind of get to the point. So that's what I'm going to try to show, give to you guys today. I'm going to uh, I'm going to do some tilt shift photography effects and I'm going to try to get to the point and uh, make it easy for you guys. Okay, so the first thing you got to do is you select an image and the, the image you select should have some good detail in the, the top, the middle, and the bottom areas of the picture. I picked a fairly standard image um, and you can try it out with different ones. But anyway, first thing you want to do is go to your layers. I always like to make a copy of my layer. Rename it. Tilt Shift. Okay, and after you do that, you can uh, manipulate this layer. You can't manipulate that layer unless you unlock it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is enter your quick mask mode. You either do it by clicking this down here or by pressing Q on the keyboard. And then what you want to do is grab your gradient tool and you make a selection of the area that you don't want to be blurred. So I want the middle area right here to be blurred, so I'm going to go ahead and try to select that. And I think I'm going to probably, yeah, I'm going to need to redo that. I want more of the detail in these chairs, so I want to redo that in the lower. Okay, that'll probably work. Okay, that'll work. I'd probably like to get a little bit more of the chairs out of there, but that's okay. So then what you do is you go to Filter, Blur, Lens Blur. I'll set it up for faster. I always like to do the more accurate view. So you can see what you're going to get. But you can see it kind of blurs up here, blurs down there. I have my radius set to 15, 0, 0. Brightness, I want maybe a little bit more. Set that 25, 255. Actually, let's set the radius to 20 as well. Uniform distribution. And then OK. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, now we've gotten that all done. Make sure you clear out of your selection. You can see you've got a little blurring up here, a little blurring down there, and it should be still nice and crisp and clean in the middle here. You, that's where you kind of want to get some people and that sort of thing in there. Okay, after you do that, you go to your layers and do an adjustment layer, of a hue and saturation adjustment layer. And I'm going to add about 40% saturation which is just going to bring out some more of the colors and details a little bit. I probably would have added a little saturation to that picture anyway, but it really did a lot here, as you can see. And it, it brings out more of the detail in the middle here that you didn't blur compared to here to here. Okay, after that, one last step that some people don't do that I like to do is I add a curves layer, a curves adjustment layer. What I want to do is make it just a tiny S-shaped curve. Just like that. And what that'll do is add a little more contrast and just make it more of a tilt shift image. And, uh, and that's about it. Uh, this is what we have now. I'll show you in the history here. That, uh, this is what we started with, and this is what we finished with. So there you go. You can do a lot with that. I hope you uh, you learned something. Please uh, check out the website, glazefolio.com slash blog. And uh, subscribe, and hopefully I'll have more information for you all in the future. Thank you.